this video, we'll talk about making a simple Python optical character recognition script where we use uh, PyTestRact uh, API over the Google TestRact OCR engine to actually read text from images programmatically. So in this video, we'll talk about what is OCR, uh, what are the applications of optical character recognition, uh, how can we actually build an OCR script where we can actually read image uh, read text from images so let's get started so first let's have a very brief introduction about what ocr is so humans can understand the contents of an image simply by looking at it uh, we perceive the text on the image as text and can read it so computers don't work the same way they need something more concrete in an organized way to understand that so this is where optical character recognition comes into the picture uh, whether it's recognition of card plates from a camera or handwritten documents that should be converted into a digital copy, this technique is very, very, very useful. So in this video, we will delve into the depth of optical character recognition and its application areas. We'll also build a simple script in Python that will help us detect characters from images. And you can also build on top of this simple Python script and uh, uh, build a web application out of it. So what is OCR? So optical character recognition involves the detection of text content on images and translation of those images to encoded text that the computer can understand easily. So how is this achieved? Uh, so to us, as I said, uh, text on an image is easily uh, discernible and we are always able to detect characters and read the text. But for computers, it's only a series of dots or pixels. So the image is first scanned the text and the graphics uh, elements are converted into something called as a bitmap, which is basically a matrix of black and white dots. Uh, then the image is pre-processed where the brightness and the contrast of them are enhanced uh, to uh, improve the accuracy of the process. Now the image is split into zones, identifying the areas of interest, such as where the images or text are, and this helps kick off the extraction process. The areas containing text can now be broken down into further lines, words and characters. Uh, and now the OCR engine or the software is able to match the characters through comparison and various AI algorithms. The final result is the text in the image that we are given. Now uh, be aware that the process may not be 100% accurate and it might need some human intervention to correct some elements that were not scanned correctly. The error correction part can also be achieved using a dictionary or even an NP, natural language processing. So let's see where we use OCR. So OCR is very commonly used in airports to automate the process of passport recognition and extraction from information out of it. The other uh, applications include automation of data entry processes, uh, detection and recognition of car number plates. So in this video, we'll use Python Tesseract or simply PyTesseract library, which is a wrapper for Google's Tesseract OCR engine. So I chose to make this video with PyTesseract because it's completely open source and it's being developed and maintained by a giant that is Google. So now first we need to download PyTesseract uh, or install it so that we can start working with it. So to install PyTesseract, you can go to this website uh, and just do a simple pip install PyTesseract. So let's do that now. And good. The next thing which we need to do is have OpenCV in our computer to work with images uh, using Python. So for that, we do a pip install OpenCV Python. So we do a pip install OpenCV Python. This might take some time since OpenCV is a very, very, very big software, but since I already have it, uh, it was done in like a few seconds. So next thing is, for let's start uh, creating our uh, script, a Python script, and start writing the code in it. This should take about a few seconds to build. Almost there. Now, uh, first, before we jump on to writing our script, first, actually, uh, let's see which image will we actually be reading from or how do we which image do we actually choose to extract the characters from so i have this image.png here 
So basically, we'll be actually reading the characters from this image. So this image has a few words. So we'll try to write a Python script which can actually read all of this from the image directly uh, using PyTesseract or the Tesseract OCRG. So let's start. First, we make an OCR.py file. Now, we need to import a few things first. So first, we need to import cv2, which is OpenCV. Next, import numpy as np. And the next thing, actually, we don't need numpy for now. The next thing which we need is import by tesseract. Yeah. So first, uh, let's actually read the image that we have. So using, uh, again, uh, OpenCV. So we have image equal to cv2.img that is the image that we have and now let's actually uh, write our code in a much readable format and actually fragment the parts of our function that we need to write so let's define a function called as OCR code and this is going to be dealing with the image and uh, actually run our entire uh, API and give us back the text from the image so basically text equal to by tesseract dot image to string and we pass in the parameter img next to return the text. So as you can see it's pretty easy and straightforward to actually use PyTesseract where we just have to make a function call uh, where the method is image to string pass in the image parameter which again returns the text which we return back to our standard output. So now uh, it is not so straightforward to actually write an OCR using Python. This might actually give us the results, but as I said, the results are not 100% accurate. We need to do some pre-processing of our own to get the result that we want. So let's do that pre-processing now. So the first thing which we need to do is convert the image to grayscale. So let's write the function for that. Define get grayscale, pass in the image parameter, and we return cv2 dot cvt column and we need a few things inside that so image and the next thing we need is cv2 color to bg gray so color bgr to gray okay. and let's give it a nice comment so we just say okay. Next thing which we need to do is uh, remove the noise from the image. So some images might be distorted and might have a few uh, have some pixels which are not uh, in the way they're supposed to be. So for that we actually remove some noise from the image to make it a bit more sharp. So let's see how we do that. So let's remove noise. Again, we're leaving functions for all of these. So the code is much more readable. We return something called as median blur. And we pass an image and the median to be 5. Again, let's give it a comment so that we know what the function is doing. So it's doing noise, not noisy. Noise. Okay, so again, noisy. Yeah, that's good. The next thing which we need to do is something called as thresholding. So uh, we need to have a, a threshold basically which states that if the pixel value is about uh, is about the threshold that the pixel is black or white and if it is below the threshold then again it's either black or white it's opposite of what it is above the threshold so in this way we have a very concrete black and white image and because of that uh, it is very easy for PyTesseract to predict or to give us out the characters from the image so again let's comment it first Fresh. holding uh, function the shoulder pass in an image and uh, this is a bit long function call so let me just copy it and then get it here so again we have a threshold where threshold is again depending on threshold binary plus threshold also uh, you can read more about these two functions uh, in the description below there is information in the description 
description about all of this what I'm doing. And now that we have a few functions which can help allow us to actually, you know, uh, pre-process our image and enhance our image properly, let's write the code to actually call these functions. Image equal to get grayscale and g. First, we convert this to grayscale, and the next thing which we need to do is threshold. So image equal to thresholding image. And finally, now that we have thresholded it, is that the right word? I don't know. So the next thing which we need to do is remove the noise or excess noise that the image might have. So remove noise, ing, and yeah, we're good to go. So now that we have uh, done uh, uh, pre processed our image using a very simple uh, open CV technique, which is just you know converting it to grayscale, removing the noise, and just thresholding it. The last part here is to actually call our OCR code. So let's call our OCR code and pass in the enhanced image here. And once when we print it, hopefully we should get this at the this as the output, where the output says a Python approach to character recognition. So let's just check the code once again and make sure that everything here is right. So about right and now we can run our code and see whether we have the output that we actually need so we get python ocr.py and yeah as you can see we have the exact output which the image had which was basically a, a python approach to character recognition and we were able to extract that information from the image using the python, uh, python tesseract api so let's just go through uh, what we have done here uh, and just, you know, uh, reiterate on what we learned here. So we made an OCR code, which basically says Py tesseract image to string, which just uh, converts or uses the API to convert the image to string. But before that, we had done a bit of pre processing on our image. So we converted it to grayscale, uh, thresholded it, and then removed the noise. And after the image has been pre-processed, we then pass that image to the OCR code and then we get our desired output, which is, as you can see, a Python approach to character animation. So uh, that is all, that is it for the tutorial for PyTesseract. Um, there will be much more interesting and complicated tutorials uh, about PyTesseract in the future. But for now, uh, that is it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.